Chapter 14, Integrated Marketing Communication Strategy. Objectives, define the five promotion mix tools for communicating customers' value. Discuss the changing communications lab, landscape and the need for integrated integration in marketing communications. Outline the communication process and the steps in developing effective marketing communications. Explain the methods for getting the promotion budget and factors that affect the design of the promotion mix. Promotion, the promotion mix. The promotion mix, marketing communications mix, is the specific blend of advertising, public relations, personal selling, and direct marketing tools that the company uses to persuasively communicate customers' value and build customers' relationships. The promotion mix or communication mix is composed of advertising, sales promotion, personal selling, public relations, and direct marketing. In advertising, advertising is any paid form of non-personal presentation and promotion of ideas, goods, or services by an identified sponsor. Broadcast, print, internet, outdoor. Sales promotion. Sales promotion is the short-term incentives to encourage the purchase or sale of a product or service. Discounts, coupons, displays, demonstrations. Personal selling. Personal selling is the personal presentation by the firm's sales force for the purpose of making sales and building customer relationships, sales presentations, trade shows, incentive programs. Public relations. Public relations involve building good relations with the company's various publics by obtaining favorable publicity, building up a good corporate image, and handling or heading off unfavorable rumors, stories, and events. It may be press releases, sponsorships, special events, web pages. Direct marketing. Direct marketing involves making direct connections with carefully targeted, targeted individuals, consumers, to both obtain an immediate response and cultivate lasting customer relationships through the use of direct mail, telephone, direct response, television, email, and the internet to communicate directly with specific customers, consumers, catalogs, telemarketing, social media, newsletters. Integrated marketing communications is the integration by the company of its communication channels to deliver a clear, consistent, and compelling message about the organization and its products. Mass markets are becoming fragmented. Consumers are getting their information from other sources than advertising. Developing effective marketing communication involves identifying the target audience, identify the target audience, determine the communication objectives, design the message, choose the media, select the message source. Identify the target audience. The target audience will heavily affect the communicator's decision on what will be said, how will it be said, when it, it will be said, where it will be said, who will say it. Determine the communication objectives. The marketer seeks to purchase response that results from a consumer decision making process that includes the buyer readiness stages, buyer, buyer readiness stages, and they are awareness, knowledge, liking, preference, conviction, and purchase. In designing the message, 
we use the AIDA model, which is get attention, hold interest, arouse desire, obtain action. Few messages take the audience from awareness to purchase, must decide what to say, content, and how to say it, structure or format. In developing effective marketing communication, design the message rational appeal. The rational appeal it relates to the audience's self-interest. It can be product quality, economy, value, and performance. Designing the message emotional appeal is an attempt to stir up positive or negative emotions to motivate a purchase, humor, or controversy. Design the message, message structure, or and message format. Both deal with how the message it is, it is put across. Message structure. Message structure. Draw a conclusion or leave it to the audience. Put forth the strongest arguments first or, or last. Present a one or two sided argument. Message format. Every detail on the on the ad, from the color of the print ad to the body language of the TV commercial, requires planning to communicate the right message. Choose the media. Choosing the channel of communication, personal or non-personal. Choose the media. Personal communication is effective because it allows personal addressing and feedback. Word of mouth influence is personal communication about a product between target buyers and neighbors, friends, family members, and associates. Personal communication channels are difficult for the company to control as independent experts and word of mouth influence overtake the company message. Opinion leaders are people within a reference group who, because of their special skills, knowledge, personality, or other characteristics, exert social influence on others. Buzz marketing involves cultivating opinion leaders and getting them to spread information about a product or service to others in their communities. Choose the media non-personal, non-personal communication. is media that carry messages without personal contact or feedback, including major media, atmospheres, and events that affect the buyer directly. Major media include print, broadcast, display, and online media. Can be aimed at opinion leaders, often attempts, attempts, attempts to stimulate personal communication. Select the message source. The message, the message, the message's impact is affected by how the audience views the communicator, a company, celebrity, endorsement, or professionals. Remember advertising, sales promotion, personal selling, public relations, direct marketing. Identify the audience, determine the communication objectives, design the message, Choose the media and select the message source. Selecting the total, selecting, setting the total promotion mix, budget and mix. We have four types, affordable budget, percentage of sales budget, competitive parity budget, objective and tasks budget. Affordable budget, affordable budget method sets the budget at an affordable level, used by small businesses, spend what they can afford, ignores the effects of motion or sale of sales on sales. Percentage of sales. Percentage of sales method sets the budget at a certain percentage of current or forecasted sales or units or unit sales price. Easy to use and helps management think about the relationship between promotion, selling, price, and profit per unit. Wrongly views sales as the cause rather than the result of promotion. 
competitive parity. Competitive parity method set the budget to match competitors' outlays. Argument represents collective wisdom of the industry and prevents promotion wars. Except companies differ greatly. Each has its own special promotion needs, and there is no practical evidence suggesting it successfully prevents promotion wars. Objective and tasks. Objective and tax method sets the budget based on what the firm what wants to accomplish with promotion. It includes and includes defining specific objectives, determining tasks to achieve the objectives, estimating costs of performing tasks, forces management to spell out assumptions about the relationship between dollars spent and promotion results results but difficult to use setting the total promotion budget and mix advertising reaches masses of geographically dispersed buyers at a low cost per expo exposure and it enables the seller to repeat a message many times personal selling is the most effective method at certain stages of the buying process particularly in buying in building buyers per preferences convic convictions actions and developing customer relationships. Sales promotion include coupons, contests, sense of deals and premiums that attract consumer attention and offer strong incentives to purchase and can be used to dramatize product offers and to boost sagging sales. Public relations is a very believable form of promotion that includes new stories, features, sponsorships, and events. Direct marketing is a non-public, immediate, customized, and interactive promotional tool that includes direct mail, catalogs, telemarketing, and online marketing. Sales strategy. The sales strategy we can find. Push strategy is a promotion strategy that calls for using the sales force and trade promotion to push the product through channels. The producer promotes the product to, through product to channel members who in turn promote it to final consumer. Consumers. Pool strategy is a promotion strategy that calls for spending a lot of advertising in consumer promotion to induce final consumers to buy the product, creating a demand vacuum that pulls the product through the channel. In the graph, producer, retailers, and wholesalers, consumers, producer marketing activities, personal selling trade, promotion, other, reseller marketing activities, personal selling, advertising, sales promotion. That's the push strategy and the pull strategy. Producer, producer marketing activities, consumer advertising, advertising, sales promotion, and other. From consumers comes the demand, from retailers and wholesalers comes, comes the demand to producers. Recap, advertising, sales promotion, personal selling, public relation, direct marketing. Identify, target audience, determine the communication objective, design the message, choose the media, select the message, message source. Views of the communication process. The communication process has nine actors senders field experience and receivers field experience we can define the sender is the party sending the message to another party encoding is the process of putting thought into symbolic form message is the set of symbols the sender transmits media is the communications channels through which the message moves from sender to receiver decoding is the process by which the receiver assigns meaning to the symbols Receiver is the party receiving the message sent by another party. Response is the reaction of the receiver after being exposed to the message. Feedback is the part of the receiver's response communicated back to the sender. Noise is the unplanned static or distortion or distortion during the communication process, which results in, a re in the receivers getting a different message than the one the sender sent.